For the first time, the California Avocado Commission May 3rd hosted an all-inclusive tour with about three dozen representatives of several diverse segments of the industry. Jan Delizer, the Commission's Vice President of Marketing, described the day's agenda. Today, the California Avocado Commission is welcoming members of the media, some food bloggers, some supermarket registered dietitians, some food service operators, trade media, for a day in the groves. And the day is going to include a visit to a nursery for California avocado seedlings. We'll be able to visit and see rootstock, um, the cloning process, and then we're going to go into a grove, allow our participants to uh, harvest some fruit, and then we're going to visit a packing house. And the day is designed to give a very uh, interactive and engaging experience for the participants who are communicating to our end users, the consumer. And we're excited because this is the kickoff of the California avocado season. At Persea Tree Nursery in Fallbrook, Alex Gonzalez, a principal there, told how the company develops high-yielding trees using rootstocks designed to tolerate Southern California's salty water and disease pressure like root rot. Then at Sierra Pacific Farms in Temecula, owner Scott McIntyre described his growing operation and said the statewide drought shouldn't have a severe impact on Southern California avocados this season. And at Westpac Avocados in Marietta, partner Randy Shoup served as tour guide and gave participants a company overview and talked about its focus on food safety and traceability. Lunch at Sierra Pacific Farms included everything from appetizers to dessert, all with an avocado flavor. Commission spokeswoman Katie Ferraro showed how to make 100-calorie California avocado cucumber cups. For The Packer, I'm Tom Burfield.